You wonder about our government spending money. You wonder who makes these decisions. Because Lewis and I have gone to Iraq and Afghanistan over and over. And we, oh, please, no, that's okay. That's very kind that you clap. Yeah, I, I don't even say that for applause, because really, I wouldn't go if I remembered the number and didn't pick up. It's just, I'm too Catholic <laughs> and I'm too guilty to say no. I can't lie like that. I'm a terrible liar. They would know I was lying. Oh, no, I'm just, oh, no, I just go. But Afghanistan, I mean, the, uh, unbelievable. I don't even understand. You get there, you're like, what, 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 are, we, uh, what are we going for here? Because uh, they, they, it's a horrible, horrible place. It's freezing, which you would never think, because on the news, when you see the Taliban guys, they're always just in a sheet. They don't have like a, they don't have like we're in a parka and mittens and stuff. It looks like fall and you wear your sheet wear and you run around and <laughs> looks like fall. And I always thought that's why I would be a horrible terrorist because I'm already prone to naps. And if you put me in a sheet all day, oh my God, forget it. I would never leave the cave. I would be the worst terrorist ever. I'd be like, yeah, I know everybody's really bad, but I'm just gonna guard the cave while you guys go do that. And I'm gonna take a nice nap in this thread couch. Have you felt my thread couch? And I have a pillow conveniently located on the top of my head. It's freezing. It's like 10 degrees in Afghanistan. And there's sand flying in your face at all times. I don't care what direction you look, there's sand flying in your face. So it doesn't even make sense in my Midwest mind, if sand's flying in my face, I should be in a swimming suit holding a multicolored alcoholic drink I forgot I loved. <laughs> like, rum, I love rum. I haven't had this since I vomited high school. I, this is delicious. <sighs> it's just, it's free, because my brother goes, how bad was it? I go, here's how bad it was, Pat. Here's what I want you to do. Go out into your garage, take off all your clothes, get into your walk-in freezer, and then every 15 minutes, I'm gonna come out there and throw sand in your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They flew us around in Black Hawk helicopters. The doors are open, people are shooting at you. You can see the ground, because that's how close you are to the ground, which is creepy, and at one point, we, and it's very loud, you have these headphone things. Uh, we flew over a bunch of camels just running around. And Lou goes, are those wild? <laughs> I, said, I, I don't know what you mean by that. But I don't see saddles on them. And I don't see tiny monkey jockeys, and I don't... <laughs> see a betting window, so I don't think we're at a camel track. <laughs> yes, I think they're wild. He goes, where are we? I, said, I don't know, but from what I can see, I'd say we'd flown to the Bible. And the Old Testament, Lou, the bad Bible, where, where shit's on fire for no reason. God is a lunatic. You're misbehaving. I'm throwing locusts at your heads. Blah, blah, blah. Not the New Testament, Lou. Not the fun Bible, where there's wine and cheese parties, and people are getting risen from the dead. Hey, I'm back. I'm back. I'm Lazarus. I was dead an hour ago. I don't understand what's happening. Where's the wine? I heard he's making wine somewhere. That guy. <laughs> Love that guy. 